A client falls out onto an outstretched arm. Another client jams his or her arm against the dashboard in a front-end car crash. Both these clients were diagnosed with rotator cuff injuries and slap tears in their shoulders. And of course, the insurance adjuster is having trouble understanding how the accident caused these injuries. Hang on a moment and I'll explain indirect shoulder injuries. For our purposes, an indirect shoulder injury means that the point of impact with the body is not directly to the shoulder joint. The shoulder is generally real susceptible to injury because it is movable. If we look at the shoulder here, we actually have the shoulder blade, the collarbone, and the humerus or long bone of the actual arm. Now it all comes together in a joint here called the glenoid fossa, but it actually hangs in the glenoid fossa and it's held together by all these ligaments and then the muscles that come around the joint like this. So a slap tear happens when the area or the cartilage right under here gets torn. And a rotator cuff injury happens when one of the four muscles of the rotator cuff, a lot of people will call it rotator cup, becomes stretched or torn. Now the rotator cuff is very important because it helps with side motion, it helps with external rotation of the shoulder, and it helps with internal rotation of the shoulder. So folks who have a rotator cuff injury a lot of times will have problems initiating sidewood motion. They will have problems combing their hair or tucking in their shirt or if they're side sleepers sleeping on their side at night. What we have to do though for the insurance adjuster to understand is that if somebody falls on an outstretched arm or the arm gets jammed, that the, the force is actually going and being transferred into the shoulder joint. And if the arm is up like this, it can actually cause stress or tension on either the glenoid fossa or the cartilage in the fossa or the rotator cuff muscles. So your doctor and lawyer will have to put this all together and connect the dots for the insurance adjuster so the insurance adjuster understands that the accident caused your shoulder joint injury. If you have any questions about a shoulder joint injury after an accident, you can always give me a call. I am Guy Demartino, meeting you at the intersection of law and medicine. Have a nice day.